UW Health in Madison and the University of Wisconsin will be one of the first sites in the country to test a new coronavirus vaccine. Dr. William Hartman with the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health joins us right now. And doctor, this has got to be pretty exciting for the hospital and the system there, but also for the fight against COVID-19. Right. Uh, thank you for having me. This really uh, brings us in a new direction in terms of our fight against COVID-19 here at University of Wisconsin with a, a focus on the prevention uh, using a vaccine. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a historical study and we're, we're very excited to be part of it. So about 1600 people are going to take place uh, or take part, I should say, in this here in our area. How exactly is it going to work? How are you going to find those people and what are they going to be doing? So we'll reach out to our university. We'll reach out to the Madison community and to the state at large. Uh, enrollment will be open to anybody over the age of 18 uh, and from any walk of life. If you need help getting to University of Hospital so you can participate in the study, we'll help get you here and get you back home uh, so that you can participate. We really want meaningful results, meaning that we need to have uh, as great of a, a representation of the population as possible. Now this. This is the AstraZeneca vaccine, AZD1222 is the technical number for it. But uh, you are going to have people take part in this, but I was reading in some of the information you sent us, this could take up to two years. Is that what a full vaccine trial would take, or, or is this one going to be fast-tracked a little bit? The FDA did say they would fast-track it. So the trial that we're going to run, we're going to run uh, exactly the way the, the protocol calls for. Um, it's a two-year trial, meaning <clears throat> that the the Individuals will be uh, injected on day one. They'll get a second injection on day 28. So it's a two injection study. We'll follow them uh, over those next couple of months to see if they develop COVID-19 or if they uh, uh, develop any symptoms that are concerning and that we have to watch out for. We'll follow their uh, antibody levels then over the next two years to see how uh, their, their body responds to the vaccine, if they're able to maintain uh, the antibody levels uh, needed to fight coronavirus if they were to come uh, in, uh, if they were to become infected with it. And doctor, uh, quickly as we go here, uh, how is this uh, trial going to help just in the overall uh, finding of a vaccine for COVID-19 or uh, maybe getting that on the market as soon as possible? So this is a phase three trial. So uh, safety and the intended consequence of the vaccine have been established in phase one and phase two. Now we have to establish in a large population, we're 1600 here, but this is part of a larger population of 30,000 in the country. We want to see if it's uh, effective in the large population. We want to make sure it's safe. We want to make sure that there's the intended outcome of having uh, the immunity that, that we hope for, and then that it's effective uh, in reducing the numbers of uh, COVID-19 infections that we see. If those three things pan out, then this will go to the FDA. It'll be uh, hopefully approved and be available. Uh, the results are gonna be evaluated in real time by AstraZeneca and by the FDA. So hopefully there'll be an answer sooner than that two year period. Um, I would expect something probably early in 2021. All right. That's good news to hear. Dr. William Hartman of the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine, thanks for being with us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. And you can track the road to creating and testing a vaccine and all the latest coronavirus news by going to tmj4.com coronavirus.